and you can see there are just a ton of fish down there. I'll probably get slapped as soon as I drop it down. You can see me dropping down here. We got one coming up. There we go. Ooh, seems a little better. Oh yeah. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we've got a very special video for you guys. Nick and I are up here in Northern Wisconsin and we are going to be doing a Flasher versus Garmin Panoptics Live Scope video for you guys. We are gonna be putting both units to the test and seeing which one we can catch more fish with. Now, obviously, one is almost nine or 10 times more expensive than just your regular ordinary Flasher. Whether you're using a Markham or you're using a Vexlar, doesn't matter. The Garmin Panoptics Live Scope is expensive, but it puts us on a lot of fish. So we're gonna be putting it to the test and seeing if it's truly worth the money. So, Flasher versus Panoptics, we're gonna go ahead, head out there. But before we get out onto the ice, we just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support. We are going to be doing a giveaway for Christmas. Obviously, the holidays are coming up here. We have got a mystery tackle box never even opened yet. We're gonna be giving this bad boy away. So let's go ahead, open it up, see what's inside, and one of you guys is gonna be a lucky winner. Stay tuned for the end of the video. We are going to show you guys how you can get entered to win what's inside this box. All right, you guys, let's open this bad boy up and see what you guys could be winning. So, first thing I see when I open up my Mr. Tackle Box is a Frostbite Plastics, and that is always good. We got a Jig and Wrap style bait. We've got some Widowmaker Lures, some Tungsten Jigs. We've got a Mamuska Jig from Northwind Tackle. We've got an assortment of different small hard baits. And then we got another jig and wrap style bait. And finally, we've got some more tungsten jigs from Widowmaker Lures. So that is what is inside this box that you guys could be winning. If you guys would like to win this mystery tackle box, you have to stay tuned till the end of the video because I will be telling you guys how you can win this box and the steps you gotta take in order to get entered. So, with that being said, Brandon and I are going to get out on the lake and we're just gonna see if we can get on top of some crappie. So stay tuned guys, not gonna wanna miss this one. All right, so we just got to the spot. We've got a couple holes punched out. And what we wanna show you guys is kind of the specs as far as what we're working with today and what we mean by flasher and what we mean by Garmin Panoptics Live Scope if you're not familiar with it. So. Right here in front of me, I have got the Markham M1. This is my unit, this is what I've used for years. I've had other Markhams, I've also had Vexlars, there's hummingbirds, there's all kinds of stuff out there. This piece of equipment right here, I believe goes for roughly 300 bucks, maybe 400 bucks tops. And there's a tons of different ones that you could get, but what we're doing is showing an entry level flasher that goes for roughly about 300 bucks, and we're going to be comparing it today to the Garmin Panoptics Live Scope. Now, this baby has been treating us well all year so far. We've just got it in the fall. We kind of tested it out open water. Now we've got the Summit Mount where we use it for ice fishing, and it works great. Now this piece is probably, what, close to $3,000 we've got wrapped into this right now? Pretty so close, yeah. with that being said, this is almost 10 times as much money as what this is. So to get the battery, to get the mount and everything that we have for this, it's, it costs a lot, guys, it really does, but it's gonna put you on a lot of fish. So what we're gonna be doing today is going through, using both of these, I'm gonna start out with the Markham, Nick's gonna start out with the Live Scope, and we're just gonna see if it truly makes a huge difference when it comes to finding fish, getting on top of fish, and catching fish. Yeah, right on me. Got him, there we go. Doesn't feel too bad. Just a little guy, I think. Come on up here, buddy. Woo, very different colors than the ones that I was catching uh, not too long ago. Still very cool looking. A lot more silver fish. Just a little guy, probably about five, six inches or so. I'm gonna toss him back down there. That one came storming up. I'm just over 20 feet deep here, probably fishing in about 22 feet, basically. And I had that one about four feet off bottom and that one came up and just clapped it. Holy cow, this one's gonna destroy me, Brandon. Yeah. Feels better. Oh 
no. There we go. Nice, decent crappie. Probably the biggest of the day, which isn't super big, but for never being on this lake, we are just trying to figure it out here as fast as we can, and to be able to catch fish is obviously a success. I'm gonna get a release on this guy. Got that one using the frostbite dinner bell, and then I'm tipping it with some waxies. That fish came screaming in 10, 15 feet off in the distance to my left. Brandon is hooked up. We have apparently found the school. That one's a better one. Woo, let's go, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yep, I got another one below me. That is awesome. That one came up and just clapped it. Another decent one there. That's probably the biggest one of the day for me right now. Caught a couple shorts right away, and that one's probably about uh, just over 10 inches, I'd say. Oh, yeah, I got another one down there. I don't have any waxies on, but I think I'm still going to. That's a nice one. Oh man, there's there's two of them down there. Okay, I don't have I don't have any waxies, but I'm still gonna send it down here. See if I can get on top of this fish. He's gonna hit me. Okay, he's not big, but I, he came screaming in at me. Definitely a smaller crappie, but he was extremely aggressive going for that big profile of that spoon on there. Get a release because I got a couple more down there. See if I can capitalize. I got two fish on the bottom right now. One's got a hit. This one's gonna hit me. Not very big again, but this oh came off. Come on. Yep, there he is. Look at this. Look at this. Oh man. Oh, yeah, that is freaking awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes, three, two. Oh, oh he you... just missed it. <laughs> he just missed it, here he goes. Come on, come on, come on, come back. Oh, that's a bigger fish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah he's coming back. Whew, that was the lightest little tap. Come on. Oh no, there he goes. He might've got the grub. He might've hit just the bottom of the jig and stole the grub. Oh, that is. That was a bigger <sighs> That is heartbreaking. Well, as you guys saw, that fish came up and just obliterated me, ruined my day. And that's a perfect example as to why this piece of equipment right here is so expensive and why we believe it's worth it. Now, we understand that not everybody can afford this. It takes time, saving up some money for a lot of folks to invest into something like this. But this piece of equipment right here showed us exactly what was going to happen in that type of situation. That fish was about probably eight or nine feet away at first from where, we're, where we have this hole drilled. I would have never seen that fish at all on my Markham. Not that this is a bad piece of equipment, I just would have never had the opportunity to even see that fish. I probably would have dunked this into the water, looked down, transducer pans out into a cone, seen that it's about eh, 22 feet, 23 feet here, and I maybe would have just hole hopped to a whole nother hole 15, 30 feet away, you never know. But this right here showed me that there was a fish down there and we got to see that fish come in. We watched how it behaved. I knew it was a crappie. I know I've got more fish down there right and now. And you could tell how big it was. Yeah, too. I could see that that was a way bigger mark. Like right here on the screen right now, just a tiny little mark, kind of hard to see, but he's between six and eight feet away. So he's about seven feet away, smaller crappie. Down on the bottom here, really hard to see because they're glued down there. But I just watched that fish come from right below that one over. There's two of them actually down there. You would never see that with the Markham. It's not a bad piece of equipment. This is a very good piece of equipment if you're just starting to go ice fishing. You're going to want to have this. You need a flasher. You don't need it, but it makes it a lot easier. Now, if you do have the money and you do want to invest into something like this, you are going to get on top of more fish. You're going to know how those fish behave. You're going to be able to locate fish so much faster. It's amazing. Well, unfortunately, Brandon had to head to work. It feels like that guy freaking works all the goddamn time. But luckily enough for me, I do not have to work. I actually have off for the next like two weeks. So I'm gonna be spending a lot of time out of the ice. But 
that does not mean the video is going to end just because he is leaving to head to work. I am going to still be out here fishing for some crappies using the live scope. I'm actually going to set out the big camera uh, to show you guys these fish actually striking on the live scope just because it is very interesting and fun to watch. So I'm going to set that up, kind of just show you guys how great this unit actually is and just see if we can get some big crappies on the ice. So far this lake definitely has a lot of them. Um, I do think there is a potential of some really big ones in here. It just seems like the school moves really, really fast for those big ones. So I'm going to just see if I can chase them around and uh, get on top of some more fish for you guys. So let's go. So as you guys can see, right here is where I am. And right here, about 25, 30 feet, you can see there's a giant school of crappies. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go over there and drill on top of them. So let's go do it. Oh boy, that's such a big school. Oh, okay. All right, so let's see. This hole's gotta be close. I don't think it's exactly on them. Yeah, there's a fish down there. All right, drop this down as fast as I can here. Oh, that fish is right under me. There we go. Fish on. Does not seem big, but it's definitely the right species. Oh yeah, it's a decent crappie. Ah, knew I'd find the school eventually. Got that dinner bill right in the corner of its mouth. Live bait today, but seems to be the ticket. Of course, as soon as I catch this fish, I see that uh, the school is gone. But they cannot be very far. I'm gonna drop back down. Seems like even if I'm within 10, 15 feet of these fish, they're still coming in and slapping this. So spend no time and get right back down there. These schools are moving so incredibly fast that I don't even have time to really set up the big camera and show you guys. Cause the time I get to them, drill a hole and drop down, I catch one fish and then they're gone. Right now, I am marking the biggest school of the day. Dropping down right now, see if I can capitalize on some of these fish. They seem really aggressive and there's plenty of them down there, so this could be the money move, hopefully. <laughs> oh, just missed one. There we go. Oh, it seems better. Show me the crappie, show me the crappie. All right. Hey, not big, but it is a crappie. I finally found like an actual big school of them. So if there's this size, there's gotta be some other ones. Get them released and get back down there. Wow, so ever since Brandon left, I've basically just been chasing some schools around. Haven't really found too much. But then I was scanning about 100 feet with my live scope and I found a freaking crib. I don't know why I'm getting so lucky finding cribs, but there are a ton of fish down there. Obviously, as you can see, I'll throw on the uh, live cam on the units here, and you can see there are just a ton of fish down there. I'll probably get slapped as soon as I drop it down. You can see me dropping down here. We got one coming up. There we go. Ooh, seems a little better. Let's see. He's fighting pretty hard. All right. Not a giant, but absolutely crushed the dinner bell. And I'm not gonna spend too much time with the fish. I'm going to just release him back down, get on top of the school while it's here. Having the crib, I don't think they are going to leave this spot. It looks like they're pretty uh, secured down there, but man, I freaking find the deepest spot of the day. And of course, there's a freaking crib down there. Don't even believe it. Drop her down, see if we can capitalize on this. Oh yeah, I got another fish racing up towards it. There we go. Wow, he hammered it. This one's definitely bigger than the last one. Yeah, uh, maybe not. It's still a nice fish, though. No! Did he get off? He's stuck on the side of the ice. Ah, 
<laughs> I don't know what the heck happened there, but <laughs> must have gotten stuck on the side of the ice. Decent little crappie. Man, that is so much fun. I'm not even on top of the school. I'm actually a little bit over to the side of the crib, and these fish are coming off of it. As you guys can tell, these fish are just piled up down there. So we're going to just keep on dropping her down and keep on hammering these fish out. See, I'm dropping down right now. Got like four fish under me. Let's see which one wants it today. Oh, yeah, this one's going to come in. Really? Oh, now he's coming. And I missed him. I almost wonder if I should drill a hole on top of that crib. Because I can see those fish directly above it. Didn't even know he was on. That's a small little guy. Didn't even know he was on there, actually. Took my wax worm. Gonna have to get another one of those on. Oh boy, there's a big fish down there. Gotta hurry up. Oh my goodness. That fish spent no time. He wanted her. Holy cow, he came zooming in from the side there. Man, all these fish are pretty much like cookie cutter size fish. I probably could be keeping these because these are like the absolute perfect eaters that like nine inch range but man when they are hungry they come up and slam the spoon just so much fun and so far this lake has really been producing some nice crappies nothing like too big so far but for numbers wise man this is pretty crazy oh my god these fish are already coming i drilled a hole on top of the crib seeing if that would make just a little bit of difference. I mean, we're only talking five feet, but figured I'd give her a shot, cause why not? Oh yeah, we got bigger fish coming. I can't stress enough, guys, how great this freaking live scope is. Now, I know everybody can't afford it, and it is a bit pricey, so for that, I do hate it, but if you are in the market and you have the money for this unit, it it is out of this world. Another decent crappie, get a release on him. I, man, it is crazy. I've never been to this lake before, like we were saying, and with the live scope, granted it took us a little bit to find like this actual school, and obviously with the help of the crib, um, there's fish everywhere. But with the live scope, I was able to find this crib. I was scanning about 80 feet in forward mode, ended up seeing this school sitting on some structure, turns out, came on over here dropped her down and realized that there are a ton of fish on these trees and with a markham you would be able to find it i'm not trying to bash the markham but the fact that you can scan 100 feet in any direction and see exactly what you're looking for is just it's out of this world good i mean it is just crazy Drop her back down here, see if I can catch another one. I'm probably only going to catch a few more, which sounds crazy because there's a ton of fish down here. But I do have some stuff I got to get done today. With the holidays coming up, I do have to do some Christmas shopping and some wrapping and all that fun stuff. But definitely got out here and pounded some fish, so that was exciting. Oh, yeah. Yep. There he is. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Every single freaking crappie is cookie cutter of the last, but that is all right. With that one, it probably is gonna be the last of the day for me. Like I said, I got some stuff going on, so I'm going to start packing up and I will see you guys when I'm heading out. All right, you guys, so that is where I'm going to end today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing us get on top of some crappies. Like I said, this is the very first time I've ever fished this lake and within an hour of it, I ended up finding a crib, 
dropping down and getting on a big school that was suspended on that crib. Now with that, obviously the help of the live scope was enormous. I mean, if you guys are looking at getting a fish finder and you can afford live scope, 100% no doubt would get it because it will help you tremendously. Now, not that you can't do it with the flasher, it just would take a little bit more time drilling and searching and finding those fish versus the live scope i drilled one hole i scanned it in 80 feet found the crib went on top of it and started catching fish so if you're in the market for it highly recommend it so now to the giveaway if you guys want to win the mystery tackle box that we showcased in the beginning of this video all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and then you have to send us proof on instagram by just messaging us a screenshot showing that you are subscribed to us here on NB Edits. And that is it. We will be giving you guys a week to do this on New Year's Day. We will be going live on Instagram, picking a winner and sending you guys a mystery tackle box. If you guys are not the winner, don't be upset. I would still definitely recommend going to Mr. Tackle Box's website, checking that out and seeing what they have because it's basically the best way to grow your tackle and to try new things. It's a subscription box that gets sent to you every single month. Uh, depending on the species, they will send you in a variety of different stuff in there and you never know what you're gonna get. But for me, I personally love it because it's a great way to grow my tackle. So if you guys wanna check them out, I'll leave it down in the description. Other than that, I got a lot of stuff to do today. I got some fish to clean that I kept today. I gotta go Christmas shopping still, which I don't know why I waited so long, but I still gotta do that. And uh, I got a bunch of stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And as always, happy holidays and tight lines from NB Edits.